Probability is a chance that an event will happen. It can be expressed as a fraction, decimal, or percent. But what about outcome? Well, Calvin, outcome is the result of an experiment. In math, experiments refer to the following. Tossing a coin, spinning a spinner, rolling a number cube, and others alike. Oh, I get it. Calvin, let's try this. I have a quarter. My quarter has a head side and a tail side. Since my quarter has only two sides, there are only two possible outcomes when I flip it. It will either land on heads or tails. A probability of one out of two can be written in three ways. As a fraction, one half. As a decimal, fifty hundredths or five tenths. And as a percent, fifty percent. That a coin will land on tails. Correct. It's one half, five tenths, fifty hundredths, or fifty percent. A probability of one out of two can be written in three ways. As a fraction, one half. As a decimal, fifty hundredths or five tenths. And as a percent, fifty percent. Yay! Let's have another example. When I spin this spinner, I have a one in four chance of landing on the section with a red A on it. Let's spin it. Let's spin it. Theoretical probability is a probability of an event that will happen over a total number of possible outcomes. A one out of four chance can be written in three ways. As a fraction, one fourth. As a decimal, 25 hundredths. As a percent, 25 percent. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. bye. Thank you, Calvin and Mark, for a very good presentation. And to continue more about probability, I have here with me Teacher Ben. And this is Teacher Angel. And, and we, we are the probability, probability teachers. Let's have some more examples of theoretical probability. I have here a number cube. The possible outcomes are 1, it can be 5, 2, 3, 6, or 4. Having these six sides, the probability of getting one is one out of six. As a fraction, it's one six. As a decimal, it's seventeen hundredths. And as a percent, seventeen percent. Why is it one six? Well, there is only one side of number one in this number cube. Likewise, if we are going to find the probability of getting number two, three, four, 5 or 6, it will also be 1, 6. And here's another example. I have with me 9 jellies of 3 different flavors. I have 4 grape flavored jellies, 3 are strawberry flavors, and 2 are apple green flavors. What I want to do is to put them all together in this chart and find out the probability of picking a grape flavored jelly. Look at this. The probability of picking a grape flavored jelly is 4 over 9. In fraction, it's 4 ninths. Why? Because there are 4 flavored jellies out of 9 jellies. To express this in decimal, it's 44 hundredths. And in percent, it's 44%. Same holds true in finding the probability of strawberry flavored jelly 
that's 3 out of 9 or 3 nines. And green apple jelly, it's 2 out of 9 or 2 nines. Let's talk about another type of probability, the experimental probability. I will roll this number cube five times. For the first outcome, it's five. Next, it's number two. Next, it's five. It's one this time. And the last, Number one, based on the outcome of the experiment, the probability of getting one is two out of five or two fifths, four tenths as a decimal, and as a percent, it's 40%. The probability of getting number two is one fifth or two tenths or 20%. The probability of getting number 3 is 0 fifths or 0 in percent, it is 0 percent. The probability of getting 4 is 0 fifths, 0 or 0 percent. The probability of getting 5 is 2 fifths or 4 tenths or 40 percent. And lastly, the probability of getting 6 is 0 fifths, 0, or 0%. Zero Let's have another example. Let's go back to this 9 jellies in a jar. We know that there are 4 gray flavors, 3 strawberry flavors, and 2 green apple flavors. In this experiment, I will pick nine jellies one at a time my first is grapes i'll put it back and pick the second one now i have strawberry put it back again and the third one is strawberry i'll put it back and pick the fourth one now i have green apple put it back and pick the fifth one it's a strawberry. The sixth is great flavor. We have three more to go. Next will be strawberry. Eight is green apple. And the last is strawberry. After doing this experiment, this is now the result. The probability of picking a grape flavor jelly is 2 ninths. In fraction, it's 2 over 9. In decimal, it's 22 hundredths. And in percent, it's 22%. The probability of pick picking a strawberry flavor jelly is 5 ninths. In decimal, that's 55 hundredths. In percent, it's 55%. And the probability of picking a green apple jelly is 2 ninths. In decimal, that's 22 hundredths. And in percent, it's 22 percent. There you have it, kids. Enjoy learning probability. And enjoy learning math. See, See you, you next time. time.